Okay, so right now um, I'm about to go over problem uh, 1.1 from Griffith's uh, uh, second edition of quantum mechanics. All right, so uh, from the distribution of ages compute the expectation value of j squared and expectation value comma j uh, squared. Uh, so um, let's go ahead and do that. So let's remember what the expectation value formula is. So expectation value is for a discrete system is equal to the sum sum j zero to of f of j times the probability of j. Okay, so um, obviously, so first for j squared, our f of j is just equal to j squared. Uh, but we need to then find p of j for each of these frequencies. So let's go ahead and do that. So p of 14 is equal to 1 divided by how many are there? 5, 7, 9, 14. There are 14 total. Cool. P of 15 is also equal to 1 divided by 14. P of 16 is equal to 3 divided by 14. P of 22 is equal to 2 divided by 14. This is just a little repetitive, but you get the idea. You want to list out all of your probability values. Because we're going to need these. P of 5 equal to 5 divided by 14. Cool. So let's get a little bit of separation between these numbers so it's easier to see them. Okay, cool. So we now we have all of our probability values that I'll just put right here. And so now we're going to find the uh, expectation value of j squared. Okay, so it would be following this notation right here. F is j squared, so it would be 14 squared, then multiply that by the probability. So it's just going to be divide by 14 uh, for this first case. So I'm going to make one simplification. Actually, no, I'll, I'll make the simplification letter. So it would be all right, then plus 15 squared times 1 divided by 14. So I'm just going to copy this and just replace the numbers whenever. So the next one is 16. And that is 3 out of 14. Next one is 2 out of 14. And the number is 2. out of 14 again, 24. And then finally, plus 25 squared, 5 out of 14. Okay, and so 
I'm not going to do each one of these calculations hand by hand. So I'm just going to write out what this equals to. So So the expectation value of j squared is going to be equal to it's equal to 459.57. So I'm just going to approximate that for ease of calculation to 460. All right. Then the next thing we need to do is to find the expectation value of just j, and then we'll square that. Okay, so it's essentially going to be this right here, except instead of squared, it, it's a 14 and 15 squared, et cetera. It's just going to be 14, 15, 16, 17. Oops. 22, 24, and 25. Okay, and so this turns out to be uh, equal to 4,441. Yeah, I think that is exact. Could be remembering this incorrectly. But um, anyways, so we found A. Awesome. Uh, the next thing uh, we need to go ahead and find is delta J for each J. So remember what delta J is. I'm going to move this up here. So delta J is defined to be uh, j minus oops sorry I just realized I, I did this wrong so this is equal to 21 and then we were asked to find j squared which is equal to 441 okay Sorry about that. But anyways, uh, back on to delta J. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty easy to find each one of those since we know what delta, I mean, expectation value of J is. So um, I'm actually going to just copy this list and replace the actual equations with what delta J is. Black shadows. Delta. of 14 is going to equal to 14 minus 21, which is equal to 7. Now we can do that for 15. Fifteen is going to equal to 6. And I think this is pretty straightforward. This is probably the easiest problem in the book. <laughs> but, you know, got to start somewhere. 16 minus 21. Oops. This is going to equal to 5. All right, so now we're going to do the 22 case. is equal to 22 is equal to 1. Bam. So we know this 24 is going to equal to 3. 4 minus 21 is 3. Fantastic. And then we have one final one. 25 case. 25. Minus 21 is equal to 4. Okay, so we have done part B.
So this is, this is the answers to part B right here. Um, let me actually, actually no, it, I think it's pretty obvious. Let me. Part A. Hopefully this was obvious, but in case not, I will label my stuff. And so let's do part C now. Part C, check the equation uh, expectation value of J squared is greater than or equal to the expectation value of J squared. <laughs> okay, uh, that's, I believe, very straightforward. So um, we count that in part A. So 460 is greater than or equal to 441. That's just true. True. This is part C. Okay, so I hope this has been um, helpful in case you were stuck on this problem. This is how you actually go about through it. And if this problem wasn't assigned to you and you just want to do this like as an exercise or look at it. Hope this helps as much as it can. So I'm gonna stop here now and I will uh, do the next uh, problem.